everybody. It's me, Carrie. Time for a Tiny Tip Tuesday. I will be right there. Um, the cards that you see on um, this page are, um, are from, oh gosh, sorry, this thing does not fit great, um, are from a kit for the May 12th um, class that will be part of my new catalog party. Hi, Jane. Thanks for being here. Um, this kit is going to include all of the things that you see here, everything like I've already die cut the pieces. This card, you're actually going to get the stuff to make four of those cards. Hi, Diana. Um, so you can order this kit now for $35 includes shipping. I will have some at Mega Meat. Hi, Pam. Thanks for sharing. Hi, Dana. Thanks for sharing. Hi, Amber. Um, so, so anyway, it's $35 for me to mail you the kit. But if you are going to Mega Meat and you want this kit, it will only be $30. Now, after Mega Meat or at the time of the event, if somebody wants the kit, it will be $38. So there's a little bit of savings if you order in advance. So um, this card, I actually made it with the um, in colors that are carrying over. But your cards for this is going to be, you're going to get one of the new in colors and new in colors um, designer series paper. You're going to get um, a flower in every in color plus white. So you can decorate this one as you see fit. You're going to get the ribbon. Um, this one, like I said, you're going to get the the large uh, memories and more card. You're going to get this piece cut out, but not I did not die cut this. So you can do what you want with that. And then you will get the pieces. Now, if you buy this bundle, I think it's called Hues of Happiness, um, then you can die cut these out of the designer series paper. I did not do that for you um, because that would have I would have charged a whole lot more for the kit to do that. <laughs> Um, so, and you're going to get some of these, um, rhinestones, they're new in rhinestones. I think they're called like glossy and there's three different colors. You're going to get a strip of that. You're going to get a full pack of, um, the, the basic pearls that you can color like I did here. You're going to get, um, uh, like I said, you're going to get, I think it's a yard of this ribbon. And the ribbon, this does not match exactly because this is new for the new in colors. So it doesn't, it doesn't really match this pink, but I decided it was close enough for my sample. But it will match whatever in color you get. You're going to get um, a foot of this because that's all you need to make your four cards. And it's a discontinuing ribbon. So um, I didn't want to run out of that. So anyway... That is that kit, and it'll, like I said, it's, um, right now it's $35. If you want me to mail it to you, it will go up to $38 for mailing, or if you're going to Mega Meat, $30 while supplies last. So, I just wanted to get that in there, and that is for the party on May 12th here on Facebook.com forward slash Memory Inkers, um, at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. <coughs> okay. Now we can have some fun. Yay. All right. So I saw a friend made this card um, with the awesome sweet strawberry and sweet strawberry punch, which is retiring. When I looked last, it was still available. I hope that it still is. But, you know, this is that time of year when we just don't know. Um, so, oh, there's another thing I want to bring up. I believe I put a post out there that there will be free shipping on Thursday for orders of $75 or more. Um, and that's probably Utah time. So if you're on the East Coast, it'll probably start at like 2 a.m. for us on Thursday. Because um, Utah is two hours behind the East Coast. They're in mountain time. Um, and my recommendation is if you need cardstock... Certain adhesives, um, designer series, well, the designer series paper will be the same, but um, the cardstock is going up in price. Shipping is going up 
by a dollar and one percent. So instead of six ninety five or ten percent, it's going to be seven ninety five by eleven percent. I know that everybody hates that, but honestly, Stampin' Up rarely increases their shipping. In fact, I don't even remember. It's been a, 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 at least a decade, if not longer, since they've increased. And we all know prices are going up so high. Um, they also want me to remind you that just like everybody else, they hope to have all products in all the time. But it is the world we live in. I am sad to tell you. But, um, but they expect to have everything available on May 3rd. So that's good. But Thursday, that is the time. Free shipping. Because right now it's 10% or $6.95. You got to get to $75. So, so instead of $7.50, it's free, right? So nice, nice. So if you want anything, um, especially cardstock, make your list. Go to memoryinkers.com. Use this hostess code MZKAPPXQ. Unless you're going to order a lot, like, you know, this is the time. If you're going to order a lot, this is the time. Um, so if you go over $150, then obviously don't use my code because you want to be able to get your own hostess benefits. So I love free shipping. I just placed a ginormous order. I'm not kidding you guys. I spent like $450 stocking up on cardstock. Now, granted, that's me. I always have to have cardstock, right? So, but I knew, I knew it was going up. And so I don't want to pay extra. You guys don't want to pay extra. So I ordered a bunch too. So anyway, um, I just wanted to let you know that. Okay, so here's the card. You just saw me fold. This is a piece of thick, basic white cardstock. Um, boy, that looks really long to me, but I'm pretty sure it's still um, five and a half by eight and a half. That just looks so long to me. Hang on, I got to check that. I'm sure it's right. Let me see. Let me see. It is. It's right. It's it's right. It's perfect. So just my imagination. All right. So and then I have just a um, a leftover piece of designer series paper. For now, I am just going to set this on here. I'm going to trim it when I glue it down. But for now, I'm setting it on there and I'm grabbing a pencil. I'm going to scoot this slightly away and just make a pencil line. So I made the pencil line, but I made it underneath the designer series paper. At least I think I did. Yeah, I did. So that'll save me from worrying about eraser marks and stuff. And this is just because there's stuff I want to do that I don't want to do here because I'm going to put the designer series paper there. Okay. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I am using Granny Apple Green and Melon Mambo for this card. So we're going to start with the granny apple green and I'm going to use this really pretty leafy pattern here and it has flowers on it <laughs> sorry oh sorry my uh I have got to do something about this I got this really good thing I thought stand but everything wants to flip around hi ladies hi Susan okay so now I'm going to stamp this so that the stem goes towards that line all right and I probably should have got a piece of um, paper that would let me go offline. So we'll use this. It's my notes. So that's not exactly as centered as I would like it to be, but that's okay. All right, so now I have that. Now I am going to take my Melon Mambo and I'm going to give it a squeeze. The newer ink pads are harder to squeeze. This, this style, they're a little harder to squeeze. So you could just drop a, um, hang on, um, I can't think and do at the same time, golly. Um, you could just drop a little drop of reinker in there if you just wanted to. Um, and then I'm taking a blender pen and I'm just going to outline these flowers. And I'm outlining because I want them to not be too dark. And I'll get the center. And I'll do this one. And then I'm going to go back with my blender pen. 
and kind of clean them up a little bit. Now I'm trying to not get too close to that green from the granny apple green because I don't really want it in my flower. But see how because I waited till my um, my blend got a little used up. Oh, I got a spot there. It's okay. I've got a plan for, oh, okay. It's just a goober. Phew. So, um, so I'm going to do the same thing. So this is the boring part. So while I'm coloring, can you guys tell me what's the weather like by you guys in Michigan? Um, you guys saw that it snowed yesterday. There's been some flurries. I was out today and there were some flurries and, uh, it's pretty freaking cold out there. Uh, but over the weekend, we're going to get close to 70. Hi, Kathy. Um, so yeah, it's crazy. So tell me, um, what's your weather like? And have you guys ever done this? Let me know if you've done this kind of a thing, colored with a blender pen and your ink pad. Um, I'm not being as pretty as I should be, but I, I want to be sure I get it done since I am making the card after all. So, um, today is my baby's birthday. When I say baby, he's 41. So, he made me a mama. So, he's and he's, uh, I've got him and my daughter, and then I married my husband, who had two boys. So we had a full house there for a while. Not anymore. Empty nesters, pretty much. So that's a good thing. Okay, so now I have that done. And you know you just wipe with your blender pen. And I think I waited too long. Let me see. Nope, I can still color these. So you can, I took the opposite end so I didn't have any pink. But I'm taking the blender pen and I'm just moving this granny apple green ink around on the leaves just to spread the green. If it's not enough or like this one looks like it's drier, I can just do the same thing. Oh, cool, Susan. We have boys with the same birthday. That's awesome. Uh... It's raining over by Kathy, cloudy by the other, or by Barb, it's raining. Yeah, boy, it's just that time of year. There's a, a fairly new newscaster that was on um, my local news today, and he was talking about how he's, you know, every state says, if you don't like the weather, wait a minute. And he says, you know, I've heard it. I've lived, you know, I've been in, he started naming all these different cities where he lived, and he said, but in Michigan, I think that it's the only state I've ever lived in where it's actually true. Because we'll have a day where it starts out raining and snowing and then becomes, you know, cool. And then it goes up to like 65, 70 degrees. It's just Michigan. And we're used to rolling with the punches. Although I am so over the snow. You guys, I'm so excited about the new catalog. Oh my golly. I'm going to be doing some videos um, of that. I'm just trying to, um, I know that you guys are excited to see it, but th this is my thinking and this is why you're not seeing a lot of it yet. You can't order it and, and I don't want you to get frustrated and there's so many cool things that I don't like this, this bundle that I don't want you to miss out on. So that is why um, I don't, I don't tend to do it early like a lot of people do. Okay, so you can see that, right? Now I'm going to take a blends marker. This is uh, Crumb Cake, which is the same color as my designer series paper. And I'm going to take the brush end, move that out of the way, and my bone folder. And I really should have paper under here. Okay, this is nuts, guys nuts and typical me right all right that's better all right so now I'm just going to hold it and tap sorry for the loud noise and you can do as little or as much as you want but I'm not sure if you guys can see this but it just um, flecked out the back of the um, 
white cardstock. Okay, so now I'm going to take this and I am going to, I'm actually going to put the adhesive on here because I, I'm going to trim it. Maybe I am. Sorry, I got a goober. Come out, come out. Oh my golly, fine. <laughs> I think it got cold down here and some of my stuff just doesn't want to play nice right now. I, I don't know if you I've said this before. I think I have, but my stamp studio is in my basement. So I, ha I do have a dehumidifier running, but <clears throat> it does get cold down here because I, I have space heaters and I don't leave them on. Thanks, Kathy. I'm glad you thought that was pretty. So, oh, I wanted to go that way. I almost did it upside down. So now I'm holding it up so that I know that it's even on the opening end. Okay, here. I'm just going to press that down and then, of course, trim it off. So there's basically the front of my card so far. Now I am going to grab my Melon Mambo again. And I've got the strawberry. Oops. And the and the strawberry back. Okay, so I'm going to start with the strawberry back and I want to look at my punch to see how it's going to go in. So it's going to go into my punch like that. So I am going to stamp it down here and then I'm not going to stamp another one because there's so many other things in here. Um, I'm going to just stamp them one at a time and I'm going to stamp off and then stamp the inside of my strawberry. Look, isn't that pretty? So pretty. And then, whoops, I'm going to slide it in. And punch it out. Now, if I were uber skilled, I could try to stamp on that. And maybe I'll give it a shot, but it's not very likely that I can actually get it to line up. But, you know, I'm willing to try anything once. But you see why I didn't want to stamp again? Because I wasn't 100% sure where that thing was going to punch out. So it's easier just to, uh, just to do them all separate. And I want, I think I want three of these. I may not need that many. Oh, thank you, Brenda. I'm glad you love this card. I haven't even barely finished it yet. Maybe you saw the original. I wish I could remember who did it because it was really pretty. Oh, that's really off. That's okay. We'll do that. It'll be fine. Got ink all over my table. Okay, so. Ta-da! All right. So I think it's highly unlikely I'm going to be able to stamp on these just because I am just not that talented. But I'm going to give it a try. I have, I have scrap paper. But I'm willing to try anything once, maybe even three times, to see if I can do it. Now, you're going to get my head. Let me see, let me see. Oh my heck, you guys. I am good with that. I am so good with that. So, let me see if I can do it two more times. Excuse me. All right. You guys need to be commenting about how freaking impressed you are with me right now. Because, I mean, this one's a little off, but I'm still really impressed with myself. I said so humbly. I'm going to break my arm, patting myself on the back here. Oh, see, that one was bad. See, spoke too soon. So, I have a scrap. And let me look at where that punches out. Okay. 
so I'm going to put it in like that. Okay. So there we go. And you can take your blender pen again. And, um, oh, look at that. Look what I just did. Dang it. I used the red side. So I may have to make another one of those. We'll see. Because I may only, no, I want three. I'm going to have to do another one. But I'm going to color in these spots. All right, let me do one more. And use the right end this time. Okay, that's the pink one. We're going to close that one up. I thought I cleaned it off, but apparently I did not. It's always important to check your blender pens before you put them away. And then I did it upside down. <sighs> All right, that's okay. I'm going to waste a lot of paper here, you guys, which I hate to do. I mean, paper's not that expensive, but I just, I'm, I'm cheap. I'm going to admit it straight out. So, okay, so now I have my three strawberries and my three strawberry stems. And I also have a sentiment, which I think I'm going to put on the inside of the card. I don't know that it'll stamp good on here. Hmm. Should I try? I'm going to try. If I hate it, you guys we'll just call this a test <laughs> cuz i've i've tested many a thing oh it works it says happy birthday you sweet thing so now i am going to put my strawberries together and let me grab my other one of those that one must be running out I keep a lot of this liquid glue on hand. It's just not always right next to my desk here where I'm working with you guys. You guys, that is such bad grammar. So I'm just gonna put a little on these bottom pieces and set it on the strawberry like so. Put them all together. I'd stamp everything but where I want it. Oh, I know. Me too. Me too. That is why I love the Stamparatus. But I didn't I didn't pull it out for this because I didn't plan to stamp on the blank pieces of leaf. <clears throat> now, the one I punched out is definitely um, better if you look at it. This one is definitely more centered than the others that I stamped you know, on my own, but I'm okay with it. All right, so now I've got these adorable little things and I am going to put them on here, like so. So now if you really wanna be picky if you guys can see, there's a little bit of white on the edge of these. So I am going to trim it off so it's at the green on all of them. And I am going to make an attempt to line them up with stems so that it's not as noticeable. And it kind of looks like it is coming out of the leaves. It's not really very centered, is it? It's because I should have put a flower in the center when I stamped, but hey, you can't have everything. Not when I'm stamping. Yeah, all right, so they're not gonna look perfect, but they're gonna be on there like that. So, I'm gonna start with this one. 
because I don't want it to cover up my happy birthday. So we're going to put him out there a little bit. And then this one can be coming from out from underneath the leaves, maybe. Now, if you wanted to, you can kind of bend this back. I should have done it before I stuck it down. But, um, you know, and you could even put a little bit of adhesive on it so that it stays down. And then I'll do it like this is what I mean. Just kind of bend your stem a little bit. <clears throat> but you don't have to. So there you go. My strawberries are not lined up in a straight line. But I'm okay with it. And, um, you know, there you go. It's just some fun. I mean, these two are pretty close. So that one could look like, you know, nature. <laughs> so anyway, there is the card. Isn't it cute? Now, what's really nice is you could take some, um, some, uh, why can't I think of it? Wink Stella and put it on here and make your strawberries shine. Or you could cover them in Versamark and clear emboss them. That looks really good too. So um, I hope you guys like it. And um, my tiny tip Tuesday is make your list for an order on Thursday of cardstock and things that you guys like. Stock up on what you need, including the basic white and the um, basic or very vanilla Um all the cardstock is going up so you want to grab some of that i believe the envelopes are staying the same so that's all good um and if you're missing any ink pads of the current ink pads those are going to go up a little bit refills are going up also not it's like they're not huge but like for me it was huge because i was ordering a whole lot you know so when you added that up it, it was probably 50 bucks or more that I saved. I don't know. But anyway, I hope you guys like this. And um, I hope that you guys will come back and see me again on Saturday for Saturday Sip. And again, I am Carrie Beglow, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Farmington Hills, Michigan. This is a live video for my Facebook page, facebook.com memory inkers. You can shop at memoryinkers.com and you can use this hostess code M-Z-K-A-P-P-X-Q. My email is memoryinkers at gmail.com. And don't forget the upcoming class for our new catalog party is um, it's actually going to be mostly new products. So um, it's very exciting. I'm excited about it. I think you guys are going to really like it, especially this card. You're going to you're actually getting seven cards with this kit so it's a it's a pretty good value seven cards for really um and possibly bingo if we have enough people i will do a bingo with it so all right guys have a great day stay warm if you're cold cool off if you're not we'll see you bye bye